Hey guys, welcome to Tech Geeks. Today I am going to tell you about hosting. What is web hosting and why we need that? So basically hosting is a space you are buying on someone else's computer. And why we need to buy a space on someone else's computer? Why can't we just use the space available in our computer to host a website? Yes, we can. But think, is it possible to keep our computer on for whole day or whole month or one year? or continuously for 10 years. No, it is not because uh, the system needs rest. So there are custom systems, they run for whole lifetime and they never shut down. And they provide you a 24x7 online website. Basically your website will face no downtime with a hosting space. But why? Because the hardware, hardware quality is so good that they doesn't even need to turn off that system and once uh, the system crashes or shuts down other system take the place for that system so you get a website which is live for 24x7 now there are four type of hostings first of all we will talk about shared hosting shared hosting is for beginners who are beginning with their website and they need a list bandwidth and a list server resources. So basically if there is a new website, think of that, I have a new website, I will not like to invest a lot of money on that website because th that website is not generating me money and users are currently not coming to that website. So I will buy a shared hosting. In shared hosting, we share the server resources with 100 or 200 people because we don't need too much resources for our website so it is just good to have a website running and uh, our um, two or three vis visitors or ten visitors maybe a hundred visitors a day are coming on our website and they can browse our website easily it will not cause any kind of issue with shared hosting but when you are moving to larger scale and you have think that you have a 2000, 3000 or 4000 visitors a day then you will need to buy a serious hosting plan which is either VPS or dedicated server. So let us talk about VPS. In VPS, the server resources are shared with limited people. The crowd is limited and also they use a hypervisor technology which creates virtual uh, environment for each user. So uh, think that uh, the server has 100 GB of storage and 10 GB of RAM. There are 10 users. So each user will get uh, 1 GB of RAM and uh, 10 GB of storage. This is good because the hypervisor technology limits the other users to use your resources and your websites uh, only get down when you use your maximum resource available and provided by your server. Now let us jump to dedicated server. Dedicated server is a server you buy. You own that server. No one else is going to host on that server. But the drawback is that you cannot manage this server every time. Maybe you need to install an operating system on that server or you need to configure everything. Each and everything on that server is yours and you need to configure and manage everything. So uh, this dedicated server needs a uh, system administrator or you need to know a lot more about servers before buying a dedicated server. Because one mistake of yours and your website is gone. Now the new technology which is cloud hosting. What is cloud hosting? In cloud hosting your resources are shared in multiple locations. They are stored in multiple locations. Also you get lot of space, lot of security because your as your resources or website is stored in multiple locations hence it is not possible for hackers to take your website down with DDoS service which is quite common in shared hosting and uh, other plans because your website is located in a single server 
this is a traditional thing and once you are attacked by hackers your server may crash may exceed the uh, resources or just may get down so uh, cloud hosting is a new technology and it is uh, like uh, vps only where your websites are stored in different locations and you get a lot of more redundancy and your websites run a lot more faster than normal hosting because of the technologies used in cloud hosting hence if you are go going to change your plan from shared hosting to vps or dedicated server i will prefer you to search for a better cloud platform and go for cloud hosting all the big hosting providers now support cloud hosting so, so look that if your hosting provider provides cloud hosting or just search for a cloud hosting provider and buy that because you will get a lot more secure hosting and also your websites will load much faster than other hosting plans and even you will also not need to manage your servers too much you can just use it like shared hosting you can host your website and forgot everything but there are drawbacks in cloud hosting too you cannot manage this server you cannot do changes in the server if you are a developer you need to do changes on server you need to customize the server then you should go for dedicated server this will provide you much more options and you can customize your server as you want to means dedicated server is all yours you can customize your server as needed you can manage your resources as needed but cloud hosting is much more faster much more secure like the video and subscribe the channel also if you find this video helpful then share with your friends